This has always been the big concern for businesses here in the UK, that when we left the Single Market Customs Union in the EU, that basically it just wasn't going to be worth the hassle, especially for medium to small businesses. Now, the big businesses, there are big businesses that are having problems with this because now they're having to spend extra time and money that they didn't have to spend before to essentially export or even import from their largest supplier or even buyer, which that would be the EU. It gets even worse when you think that UK chemicals, all the UK chemicals companies in the UK export to the EU. That is their primary market. That ain't going to change. So when the, shall we say, the rules in the EU change, they're not going to follow or even bother following UK regulation. They're always, always going to follow EU regulation, which in a way will be a, a slight saving grace for us. Um, we've already covered that just again, just last month with the changes regarding those um, laws on chemicals. So that will at least be a slight saving grace, although not completely, because you've got to imagine all these small to medium businesses now that... As you can see from the headline here, UK businesses give up on EU imports. And we've already covered last year several businesses who have said that they've lost 20, 30, even 40% of their business. And that was them exporting. That is a lot of your business to lose, a lot of your business to lose. And now with these new rules, even more businesses are just going to give up because as we said, as you can see there from the title, it's just simply not worth the hassle. So let's dive more into this and find out more about, again, what's going on here. So as always, before we start, uh, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our updation link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can, well, buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much to all those people who do support the channel that way. So let's dive into this then. This comes from City AM with the title of Strict New Brexit Transport Rules Make UK Businesses Give Up on EU Imports Simply not worth the hassle. Many British businesses may just give up on importing as a result of new strict rules that have come into force yesterday on the 1st of January, a former civil servant in charge of the Brexit planning has warned. Philip Braycroft, who was the permanent undersecretary at the Department for Exiting the European Union, or DEXU, between 2017 and 2019, said that the changes came into play on the 1st of January will cause teething problems with some sectors hit harder than others. With the introduction of the new barriers to trade with the bloc, Rykov said that businesses may just decide that it is simply not worth the hassle. This news comes as obviously Boris Johnson has vowed to maximise the benefits of Brexit in 2022. The Prime Minister, marking a year since the post-Brexit free trade deal with the European Union came in into force, said that the government will go further and faster to take advantage of the enormous potential that our new freedoms bring. And don't worry, we will get to that on Wednesday. So if you want to see me go diving into that, because we are going into the full statement the number 10 released, and oh boy, there's some stuff in there that we have to cover. <laughs> uh, so look out for that live stream on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Um, so continuing on this. The changes that were in place from the 1st of January mean that importers must now make full customs declarations on goods entering the UK from the EU or from other countries. Traders are no longer able to delay completing the full import customs declarations for up to 175 days, a measure that was introduced to cope with the disruption for Brexit. There are obviously private provisions in place for trade with the island of Ireland. Breikhoff told BBC's Radio 4's uh, PM programme about the new rules might not be just might just be too much for some companies. The Federation of Small Businesses reckon that only about a quarter of their members are actually ready for this, which is a bit surprising in this way, because they've obviously had a lot of notice that this is coming, he said. He said, 
Uh, let's not forget, of course, they've been a pretty torrid year with most businesses and with COVID and everything else. So a lot of businesses will just not be ready. He said there will be teething problems. But the big question is how many businesses ultimately think, do you uh, do you know what? It's just too much of a hassle and just give up importing. Just as some businesses have already given up exporting because it's not worth it. He added that businesses exporting to the EU from the UK have already faced uh, these rules. And obviously for the uh, best part of a year. So now it's going to be those businesses that the UK that import from the EU that now got to deal with this and essentially the new Brexit bureaucracy. This is what taking back controls of our borders means. It will hit some sectors harder than others. The rules are more complicated for animal products, and in particular food products that contain bits of animals, because all that requires all the requirements around it. Rules in the country of origin documents also have become a marginally, a ma marginally stricter, with declarations needing to be made when goods arrive here. Rakoff says that this will be really complicated. And for certain products that contain lots of different bits or ingredients. Of course, we've talked about this before, about the chicken pizza. Where do all these ingredients come from? And again, it's a massive headache when you start thinking about that. So, uh, asked if this country uh, is likely to see rising prices or empty shelves, he said, I wouldn't over-dramatise it. I would think that at the margins there are new costs which will ultimately have to be borne by the customers. So HMRC reckon that the total cost of these new systems will be something like £13 billion a year. That's a lot of money by any token spread across a big population like the UK, of course. That's a modest increase in the cost through the supply chain. But at the margins, there will also be some businesses, I have said previously, who, who said, do you think, do you know what, this just isn't worth the hassle. So there will be margins and there will be a reduction in choice as well. This is why the Office for Budget Responsibility reckons that the net impact on this deal on our wealth as a country will be reduced by about 4% in the medium term. As I said medium term, uh, the office said long term, so, but. Uh, this is because the trade between the UK and the EU will be a lot less free than it was when we were in the single market. <laughs> And of course, a reminder that Dexu was closed back in January of 2020 because apparently Brexit had been done. So we don't need an office for exiting the EU. It's been done. Uh, um, yeah, this is this is the big fear. This is this is really big fear. We've seen this throughout all this year. I've been covering most of them from local and uh, and regional newspapers about this of of businesses that have just gone. No one's buying from us anymore because of the hassle it takes for like the customer or the, the, the fact that now it takes even longer to send a product out to the customer. Um, so they're losing like 20, 30, 40% of their business. That's a lot to lose. And now importers who import goods from the EU are now about to experience that same stuff. They're about to lose a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of choices about to disappear from the UK shelves and prices are going to increase. And again, we can literally go back and see people like Jacob rees Morgan of the Brexiteers saying that, oh, don't worry, when we leave, food prices are going to reduce because there's going to be so much more choice. <laughs> again, um, the staggering um, ludicrousness that went on during the 2016, and yet they're the ones who like to say that it was Lee, that it was us, who are making all these exaggerations. Um, we're living in your reality now, guys. You can only deny it for so long before it becomes a fact. And that's the big point is here now that businesses will now start to really pile pressure on the government and all these problems that it's causing. As we've said before, it was businesses that led the charge on the, on the, on the Conservative Party to join the Single Market Customs Union. So... Expect that to see that start to happen sooner or later. But of course, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button down below. And of course, there are links to my Patreon page and a one off station link called Buy Me Coffee. We can well buy me coffee. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you all next time.